It counts the world-famous composer Carl Jenkins among its alumni and gave thousands of Welsh children the chance to play musical instruments. Over the weekend, former members of the Glamorgan Youth Orchestra reunited for a special concert and to launch a trust that will give young people opportunities to also play. Our arts and media correspondent Hugh Thomas reports. Stirring music in a prestigious setting, former members of the Glamorgan Youth Orchestra and Choir fill St David's Hall for a very special reunion. For 50 years, the glam, as it's known, gave young people from the old county a chance to perform, with school holidays spent making music and lifelong friends. It was the nostalgia that prompted Kerry Ann Rolls to organise the reunion. The opportunities that music presented us was being able to have that discipline of learning and transfer those skills in life. Um, it was a, um, a social uh, opportunity to develop in so many different ways. On TV here in the 80s, this was the glam in its heyday. But by the 90s, the changes in local authority boundaries meant the old county-wide orchestra was lost. There were protests against its decline, and in recent years, local authorities have found it increasingly difficult to fund children's music lessons or provide instruments. It's a big change from when Roger Lewis was in the glam, playing the French horn, ahead of a career that included running the music station Classic FM. Now in charge of the Welsh Rugby Union, he's also chair of the Cardiff Capital Region and thinks local authorities could work together to fund more music opportunities. Working with the ten authorities within that region is so, so important that we pool resources, pool ideas, have a true alignment of strategy. And I believe within that alignment of strategy, things such as the youth orchestras can once more flourish. While they made music on Saturday, they also made a promise to help children from all backgrounds get access to instruments through a new fund, helping them to enjoy the musical experiences they remember so fondly themselves.